Hey viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today topic is all about ciprofloxacin. Ciprofloxacin is a broad-spectrum antibiotic in the second-generation fluoroquinolone, which is used to treat a wide range of gram-negative and gram-positive bacterial infections. Ciprofloxacin targets enzymes called DNA gyrase and topoisomerase 4, and thereby preventing their DNA replication, recombination, and repair more specifically, these enzymes help to unwind and wind the DNA strands during replication. Ciprofloxacin binds to these enzymes and form a drug enzyme DNA complex formation, due to this the bacterial DNA replication process is disrupted. Inhibits their activity, and preventing the abnormal DNA molecules, and termination of DNA replication. Routes of administration Ciprofloxacin can be administered to the body through several routes, but the commonest route is oral tablet, oral suspension, and intravenous preparations. Ciprofloxacin is effective against a wide range of bacterial infections, including urinary tract infections or UTIs, respiratory tract infections, such as pneumonia, bronchitis, typhoid fever, bone and joint infections, sexually transmitted infections, such as gonorrhea. Ciprofloxacin eye drops are commonly prescribed to treat conditions like bacterial conjunctivitis or pink eye infection and keratitis or corneal infection and otic solutions and suspension are available to manage bacterial otitis externa or outer ear infections and in certain cases of otitis media, middle ear infections. Side effects of ciprofloxacin While ciprofloxacin is generally well tolerated, but it can cause some side effects, including gastrointestinal issues like nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, or abdominal discomfort, headache, acidosis, rash or allergic reactions, tendon rupture, rare but more common in older adults, increased sensitivity to sunlight called photosensitivity. Rarely, serious side effects affecting the nervous system, such as seizures or mental-slash-mood changes. It's essential to use ciprofloxacin as prescribed by a healthcare professional and to report any concerning side effects immediately. That all about ciprofloxacin. Hope you like this video. If you have any question, leave that in the comment. Please like and subscribe for more content about medicines.